Welcome to Power Up N10 for the Network for a Healthy California. The network empowers Californians to live better by eating more fruits and vegetables and being physically active every day. Power Up N10 is a great start to getting your daily physical activity. It is a good way to build up your muscular strength and endurance. And it is a fun way to exercise. Power Up N10 can be used without equipment and with little space. Be sure to review the safety tips on this video before starting. You'll also find nutritional tips to help you and your family stay healthy. The Power Up in 10 video is a supplement to the Network for a Healthy California's Power Up in 10 booklet. In addition to the original 10 strength building exercises in the booklet, the video has added 10 more exercises to help you improve your strength. It is an instructional guide to help you learn how to correctly do each exercise. It is not designed to be an exercise routine. Observe and copy the instructor's body movements very carefully to safely provide you with the greatest benefit. You will find ideas for a routine using these exercises at the end of the video. Use the video and our website to help you and your family eat healthy and be active. Squats. Always tighten the stomach muscles and if lifting an object, keep it close to the body when lifting in order to minimize stress on the lower back. Put a chair behind you until you master this movement. Standing in front of the chair with your feet shoulder width apart or a comfortable distance apart, bend your knees and slowly lower your hips down towards the chair. Raise your arms out in front for balance, sitting with your weight back on your heels, chest lifted, eyes up and eyes forward. Keep your knees behind the imaginary line drawn up from your toes, meaning if you look down, you should be able to see your toes. At the same time, tighten your buttocks and straighten your knees back to a start position. You can make this harder by holding a weight in your hands at chest height or in front of the body or at your sides. Lunge. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart. Place your hands on your waist or lightly hold onto a stable object to help you keep your balance. Take a long step forward with your left leg. Slowly lower your body under control until your front leg is at a 90 degree angle. Be sure to keep your knee behind the imaginary line up from your toes. Keep the heel of the back foot lifted and your stomach muscles tight throughout the exercise. Return to the start position by pushing off of the foot of your front leg while straightening the back leg. Repeat with the other leg. You can increase the challenge by holding a weight in each hand. Chest press. Stand on the floor facing a wall or a stable object such as a desk or a railing. With your arms straight out in front, lean forward and place your hands on the wall a little wider than shoulder width apart. Bending your elbows and lowering your chest towards the wall until the elbows and shoulders are lined up. Push your body away from the wall by straightening your elbows and returning to the start position. Do not lock the elbows in the upward phase. Keep ears in line with the shoulders. You can make this harder by doing push-ups on the floor, on your knees, on your toes, or with your hands in different positions, wide, narrow, or staggered with one hand under the shoulder and the other hand in line with the chest, and then reversing. Row. 
Put your feet shoulder width apart, bending at the hips so that your body is at a 45 degree angle with your stomach muscles tight. Keep your knees slightly bent with your arms placed straight out in front of your body. Bend your elbows and pull back, keeping your elbows close to the body. Keeping your shoulders down away from your ears, squeeze your shoulder blades together, slowly returning to the starting position. To make this harder, add a weight in each hand or alternate extending one leg back with back heel raised. Crunch. Lie flat on your back with your feet resting on the floor. Place your hands with your fingertips slightly touching the back of your ears. Keep your elbows pointing out to the side for the whole exercise. Without arching your back up, tighten your stomach muscles and slowly lift your shoulder blades off the floor. Hold the position for one to two seconds, then slowly lower your shoulders back to the start position. By looking up as your shoulders come off the ground, you can keep a space about the size of a tennis ball between your chest and chin. This will protect your neck. To make this harder, perform the crunch with a twist in each direction at the top of the crunch, or lift the feet with the knees over the hips at 90 degrees, performing the same crunch. Hip lift. Lie flat on your back with your knees bent. Your feet should be hip width apart and flat on the floor. Place your hands down to the sides of your body. Lift your hips off the ground by squeezing the buttocks, supporting your body with the shoulders, not on your neck or head. Hold the position for one to two seconds. Slowly lower your hips back to the start position. To make this harder, lift your heels so you are on the balls of your feet. Calf raise. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart and hands at your sides. For added balance and support, place your hands lightly on a stable object or the wall. Raise your heels off the ground as high as possible. Hold the position for one to two seconds and then slowly come back down to the starting position. To make this harder, hold a weight in each hand or do them with one leg raised off the ground so that you are doing the calf raise one leg at a time. Arm raise. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart and your arms at the sides of your body. Tighten your stomach muscles and keep your back straight while keeping a slight bend in your knees. Slightly bend your elbows, especially if you have shoulder problems, and raise your arms out to the side until your arms reach shoulder height. Keep the height of the elbows above the wrist and the palms facing the floor. Slowly lower the arms to the starting position. To make this harder, hold a weight in each hand or stand on one leg at a time or stand on your toes. Arm extension. Place your feet shoulder width apart. Bend at the hips so that your body is at a 45 degree angle. 
Keep your knees slightly bent with your elbows positioned at a 90 degree angle at the sides of your body, elbow shoulder height. Slowly straighten your elbows behind your body and hold the position for one to two seconds. Keep your shoulders back and down in line with your ears. Slowly lower your arms back to the start position. To make this harder, do the exercise with the weight in each hand. Stand on one leg or stand on your toes. Arm curl. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart and your arms at the sides of your body with the palms forward. Keep your back straight and the stomach muscles tight while keeping a slight bend in your knees. Bend your elbows and bring your hands up towards the chest keeping the elbows at your side. Hold the position for one to two seconds. Slowly lower your hands back down to the start position. This can also be done using the same arm curl with your palms back. To make this harder, hold weights in each hand, stand on one leg, or stand on your toes. Squat with biceps curl. Stand with your feet hip width or a comfortable distance apart and with your arms by your side holding weights in both hands. On the downward phase, bend your knees and maintain weight on the heels, abdominals contracted, chest lifted, chin parallel to the floor and your eyes forward. Make sure your knees do not go beyond the imaginary line drawn up from your toes. On the upward phase, maintain a slight knee bend, never locking the knees. As you reach standing position, curl the arms upward with elbows in line with the side of the body, pointing down towards the floor. Alternating lunges with torso rotation. Begin standing with feet hip width apart and a weight held chest height. Step back with right leg, keeping in a straight line and heel lifted. Bend the front knee left, keeping it over the ankle and behind the toes as you lower. At the same time, bend the back knee right while maintaining a lifted heel. Weight on the ball of the foot and hold the position. Now, rotate the torso to the left and back to the center. Always rotating the torso towards the direction of the front knee and back to center. Once back to center, raise from the lunge, step back to standing, and then repeat using the other leg and rotating in the opposite direction. Hip hinge with reverse fly. Start standing with the feet hip width apart or slightly wider for those who are tall holding weights by your side. Hinge forward at the hips with stomach tightened, bending at the hips, keeping your spine straight. Draw the shoulders back and hold. Keep the elbows slightly bent throughout the movement as the arms move away from the body palms face the floor, and movement only occurs at the shoulders. Keep your shoulders in line with your ears and keep your shoulders relaxed and gaze towards the floor and slightly forward. Bring the arms back to the starting point, directly below the shoulders. 
Stand by seeking the body's weight on the heels on the upward phase and keep the knees slightly bent. Calf raise with shoulder press. Stand with the feet hip width apart or slightly wider for those who are tall and hold weights at shoulder height. Press upwards through the balls of your feet rising up on your toes and at the same time press the weights overhead, arms in line with the ears and the stomach muscles tighten. Lower heels to the ground and weights back to the shoulders. plie or sumo squat with overhead triceps extension. Start standing with the feet wider than hip distance apart with the knees and toes slightly turned out at a 45 degree angle. Using a single weight, raise the arms overhead and wrap the fingers of both hands around the weight with elbows facing forward and in front of the ears. Lower the body by keeping the tailbone pointing down, stomach muscles tighten, and knees over the ankles and behind the toes. The legs make a 90 degree angle at the knees. As you lower, bend the elbows with the weight moving behind the head. Stand and straighten the arms overhead at the same time without locking the knees or elbows. Standing side leg lifts with side shoulder raises. Stand with your feet hip width or comfortable distance apart. Arm by your side with a hand weight bent at the elbow 90 degrees. The opposite hand may rest on a stable surface for balance. Lift the leg away from the side of the body with the toes pointing down and heel facing slightly up towards the ceiling. As the leg moves up and out, away from the body, the arm on the same side lifts up and outward. The elbow is bent at 90 degrees with the palm facing the floor. Lead with the elbow as the arm comes up to shoulder height. Raise and lower the arm and leg together. Do not allow the leg to rest at the starting position. Repeat on the other side. Bridge lifts with chest flies or chest press. Lie on your back with bent knees, feet on the floor. Keep the feet in line with the hips and toes pointing forward. For the chest fly, arms are out to the sides of the body, in line with the shoulders, palms up, and a slight bend in the elbows. On the chest press, elbows are in line with the shoulders, wrists in line with the elbows, and knuckles to the ceiling. As you rise on the bridge lift, press through the heels, squeezing the buttocks and the back of the thighs. As your body moves upward, bring the arms to the center of the body, elbows remaining slightly bent while keeping the chest tight. Raise and lower the hips and arms together, tapping the buttocks to the floor and moving directly to the next repetition, not allowing the buttocks to rest on the floor between repetitions. Plank with one arm rows, modified on knees or full on toes. Starting on your hands and knees, move the body into a 45 degree angle for the modified plank. The knees are behind the hips, tailbone down, and the stomach drawn up towards the spine. Hands are below the shoulders, 
fingertips forward, and elbows have a slight bend. Draw the elbows up towards the ceiling, allowing the arm to brush along the rib cage, engaging the mid-back muscles. Your gaze is down and slightly forward, ears are in line with the shoulders, and shoulders are relaxed and away from the ears. You can alternate the row on each arm or a complete set number of repetitions on one side. The full position is the same movement but on the toes. Reverse curls. Start on your back with knees bent and feet off the floor hip distance apart. Hands are open behind the head with fingertips behind the ears and elbows in line with the ears. Chin is slightly drawn in and down, fist distance off the chest. Again, this helps relax the shoulders and takes the strain off the neck. The exercise is done by lifting the hips off the floor and drawing the abdominals inward as if someone is pressing the abdomen down. At the same time, lift the shoulders off the floor, keeping the elbows back in line with the ears. This helps prevent any strain on the neck caused by pulling the head forward as the elbows move forward. The Superman or Superwoman. Lie on the floor face down with your feet hip width apart and toes relaxed. Tuck the tailbone downward and draw the abdomen up. Extend the arms forward in line with the ears. Lift the torso to your comfort level, keeping the feet on the floor. Have your stomach muscles tight to help support the back through the movement. Gaze down and slightly forward, ears in alignment with the shoulders. Your arms lift with the torso and the elbows bend, moving the arms back towards the feet, drawing the elbows into the torso and in line with the side of the body. To make the exercise more challenging, raise the feet off the ground or use very light one to three pound weights in the hands. Hi, I'm Karina Martinez with the Network for a Healthy California. Today, we're going to show you how to make a nutritious orange freeze. Before you prepare food, remember to wash your hands with warm, soapy water. Fruit smoothies are delicious and fun to make. They are a refreshing after-workout treat and make a healthy on-the-go breakfast too. When fresh fruit is out of season, you can use canned or frozen fruit. With any recipe, the first step is to gather your ingredients. For the orange freeze, you will need 1 cup of 100% orange juice, 10 ice cubes, 1 cup of 1% low-fat or non-fat milk, 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract, and 2 cups of drained canned mandarin oranges. Put all ingredients into your blender and blend for 10 to 15 seconds until smooth. Pour into 4 cups and enjoy with friends. For more nutrition tips and healthy recipes, visit our website.